am super excited to have you here today. Welcome to Lecturer's Hangout on Lasso TV. I am Abisola and I am your host in today's program. Lecturer's Hangout is a program that talks about experiences and relationships of lecturers on and off campus. And our guest today is not just a lecturer, but a Nollywood icon and an established face in the entertainment industry. He is also one of the pioneers and the current head of the department of theater art and music, Lagos State University. Can we meet you, sir? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Professor uh, Shola Fusuku. So, uh, well, yeah, I've been in Lasso for uh, that's since 1994, uh, up to now, that's how many years? 27, you know, and um, by the grace of God, um, we got this department established in 2001. So, um, the journey has been uh, very exciting and fulfilling for me and uh, my other colleagues uh, in the department. This year we are 20, so we hope to celebrate something later in the year. That's so exciting to hear. So, sir, can you share more of your experiences on campus, especially as a lecturer? Well, I mean, the experiences are of various types, and I wouldn't know the type of experience that uh, we are talking about. Okay, basically, you know, um, we are all human and it is not easy being a lecturer, being a father, being a husband and also doing other things off campus. How do you balance it together? Well, yeah, it is true that we play different roles at different times uh, in, our, in our lives, you know. The roles that we play at home, yeah, definitely, is different from the, the, the roles we play when we are in our workplaces, uh, when we are with our friends, when, when we are in the places of business, in our professions, and, and so on. Yeah, by the time I came into Lasso, um, for instance, this is a story that I share with everybody and that I share with the press. And, uh, it's a popular story, but I don't know whether you, you have not heard, heard about it. When I was coming into the last week, 1994, I was already uh, a fairly well-known person in the uh, entertainment, entertainment industry. Uh, having, you know, performed in several uh, network programs, uh, soap operas, and, and so on. And also, having taken part in uh, some of the uh, movies that kind of started the Nollywood, uh, you know, uh, in industry at that time. Because the Nollywood itself started in the early 90s or late 80s. Uh, we were the ones you know, who were privileged to be part of that beginning. So I was already earning. Uh, 50,000, 100,000, 150,000, you know, appearing in, uh, in movies. But when I came into the last week, my salary as a lecturer at two in 1994 was 5,000. And uh, when some of my colleagues in the industry got to know, that uh, I'm now in last week. <laughs> some of them felt that maybe I had uh, that I had some you know, mental problems. <laughs> if I could leave an industry where that, that was just growing at that time, and we are making quite a reasonable amount of money if you, if you appeared in any movie. I mean, it de depend, depending on the person producing. You could get, as I said earlier, 50 or 100 or 150,000. Um, then here, I came into the, the, the campus and 5,000. 
So it's a, it's a, it's a moment of great decision for me. Uh, but I think it was providential. I think God wanted me to be here. You know, because uh, if I look back now, um, and I think of what God has used me to do within the, uh, the university, I believe that it was providential. I mean, God's purpose um, for me to be here. And of course, even in, in terms of the uh, money, the monetary, whatever that I, I'm talking about, Today now, I'm a professor in the system and uh, the kind of money that uh, my, that we were earning in the industry at that time, I, I don't know whether they're still earning up to that, you know, but I mean, uh, a lot of water has passed under the bridge and what my decision at that time is paying off, you know, now. Not only in terms of... Uh, you know, the monetary values, but also in terms of the lives, the many lives that have been impacted by that very decision to come into the campus. So I am happy that I took that decision and uh, the experience, you know, has been uh, exciting, it has been rewarding, it has been fulfilling, you know, and uh, I thank God that I'm here. Yes. Let me chip this in. I am one of the lives that has been impacted by Professor Shalaku's school. I am a happy student of um, Tesla and Music, and I'm in my final year, and he is my acting coach. So, yes, this is the first thing you <laughs> So, so what yeah. is your advice to students on campus? Well, yeah, you know, it's very straight and simple. I believe that uh, students come into the university to, to get educated, to receive knowledge and uh, acquire skills, uh, particularly in, in the kind of department that we are. It's not only to learn the theories and all, and, and all that, but also to acquire the skills that can be applied practically, when you get out into the field. So, having that at the, at the, at the back of their minds, that look, they are coming to uh, obtain a new ticket, so to speak, a license, a certificate, you know, uh, to become a professional, so that they can also make contributions, not only to the profession, and to the society, but also to themselves and their families. So if anybody knows that, then when you get into the institution, how are you supposed to conduct yourself? What are you supposed to, uh, what, what are the uh, you know, models that you are supposed to emulate? Is it uh, the model of you know, those who engage in, in, in you know, occultic activities? Is it the model of those who are night marauders who, you know, will not take uh, their education seriously? Is it the model of those who are yahoo yahoo? You know, you know, I mean, the straight and, you know, direct answer to that is that one expects every student to be focused on the reason why they are here in the campus. I believe that everybody, you know, is here in the campus for, for the same reason to learn and acquire, you know, the degree, the, the skills that they need after school. So it is important to, you know, face the reason why they are here, be focused, be determined, right, and conduct themselves in such a way that. Um, when eventually they graduate, they will, you know, uh, be able to, uh, you know, be part of the group that will make contributions to that industry, to that profession, you know, and to the society at large. So students, you know, need to uh, face their studies. 
and do the needful. Because when you want to uh, get your certificate, at the end of the uh, program, it says, haven't fulfilled all the requirements for the award of social and so. Social and so person is here by awarded the degree of social and so. All right, so fulfilling all requirements means doing everything that you ought to do while you are in school without wasting time. Don't, students should not join the group of time wasters. They should not join the group of, uh, you know, marauders, the group of Yahoo Yahoo boys or girls, the group of, uh, you know, uh, cultists and so on. Rather, they should be in the right group of people who are, you know, uh, serious-minded, who, who are focused, who are here to achieve the reason why they have come into the campus. That's my simple advice to every student. So it's very simple. Those anybody you see today in any in, the, in any sphere of of life, whether in politics, in the engineering, in medicine, in the entertainment industry, we see them doing well. What is the secret? Serious minded mindedness. You know, focus, determination. Do what you're supposed to do at the time that you're supposed to do. Be of good character, integrity. All those things they matter. And anybody who is practicing those things now, I can tell you, in the next few years, in future, you begin to hear also that they are doing very well. It's 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 simple. Is that it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. You, you face what you are doing, you are hard, hard working, you are diligent. You are, you, nature, even nature will reward you. The reward may not come, uh, maybe at the time that you are expecting, may not, may not come very quickly. I, I think, uh, you know, the uh, problem that we have with, with our youth is that they are in a hurry. Everybody's in a hurry these days. <laughs> the young ones, they want to become millionaires at the age of 20, at the age of 25, at the age of 30. They are not working. And they are not, you know, hard working. They are not facing what they are supposed to face that will earn them the money later. And money is not earned in that way anyway. <laughs> People don't become millionaires overnight. And those who become millionaires, millionaires overnight, through some, you know, uh, evil means, they will pay for it. They will pay for it. Those who have who have uh, who have gone that route, Yahoo, Yahoo, uh, you know, the cultish, whatever. Don't you hear about what is what has been happening to them all over the place? So that's not the route. That's not the route to follow. The route to follow is the route of hard work, diligence, focus, determination, serious mindedness, and you know, the reward will always be there. Hello, my name is uh, Professor Shola Fosudo, and you are watching Lecturer's Hangout. And I want to enjoin you to continue to watch this program at all times, because from this program, you learn so much. Thank you.